Find the particular solution to the differential equation d squared y over dx squared minus 5 dy dx plus 6y equals x times e to the x. So this is the exact same thing as y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equal to x e to the x. So first we start off with our normal y homogeneous equation where we set the left hand side equal to 0. And we can form our auxiliary equation from that, where r is the amount of derivatives being taken on y. So y double prime is r squared minus 5r plus 6, and no derivatives means no r equals 0. Can we factor this? Actually, yes, we can for once. You can take out r minus 3 and r minus 2, since minus 3 and minus 2 multiply to 6 and add to negative 5. This gives us our two homogeneous solutions, rh equal to 2, comma, 3. Either one works. So moving on to our particular portion, we have no sine or cosine term anywhere, so that gives us our shorthand expression of t to the s times decreasing polynomial of degree m, starting with a sub m times t to the m plus decreasing by 1, a sub m minus 1 times t to the m minus 1, so on and so forth until we hit a sub 1t plus a sub 0. And we finish it off with e to the r particular t. So let's try to match some things up with the right hand side. So setting t equal to x, for this case I'm not in the mood to rewrite this equation, we can see that this is t e to the t. From this we can say two things. One, that m equals 1, as there's only t to the power of 1 on the right hand side, and rp equals 1 as well since it's just e to the t. So does this equal to anything from r homogeneous? No, because 1 doesn't equal 2 or 3. So there is no repeated root, therefore s equals 0. If s equaled 1 or 2, it would just bring up the entire solution by a power of t once or twice. So now, setting the equation yp equal to t to the 0 times a sub 1t plus a sub 0, since we only go up to a power of 1t, times e to the 1t, so just e to the t. Don't let s equaling 0 affect anything, we still need to have the rp equals 1 here. And rewriting, we have y particular equals at plus b. And I'm just changing a sub 1 to be a, and a sub 0 to be b, for simplicity, since there is no secondary portion of this equation where there would be some overlapping. And all of this is being multiplied by e to the t. Now, all we have to do is, looking at this equation here, we have to find y particular double prime, a single prime, and normal. Right now, all we have is normal. So we got to take two more derivatives and then set that equal to t e to the t. So y p prime, and you can see we have product rule since we have a t times e to the t. And if you remember, product rule is f prime g plus f g prime, where f is this whole first term and g is the second term. So f prime is just a. Everything else gets dropped keep g the same, plus now f by itself, a t plus b, times g prime, the derivative of e to the t with respect to t is still e to the t, and that's it. Now let's do this one more time. y p double prime equals the same thing, a e to the t, nothing gets dropped here, plus what we just found before, which was this whole term, so it would be a e to the t plus a t plus b, times e to the t. If you want, you can do it again, but this is the same exact thing. All that's changing is that we're adding the a times e to the t term. So this simplifies to, I'll write here again, 2a e to the t plus a t plus b times e to the t. Now we got to plug all of this in to our equation y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equals t e to the t. All right, so y double prime is yp double prime, 2aet plus at plus b, e to the t, minus 5y single prime, a e to the t plus this whole term, plus 6y, which was our original term, at plus b, e to the t, it's a lot of repetition, equals t e to the t. That was annoying. First things first, cancel out every e to the t term since it's on the left hand and right hand side. So that becomes 
2a plus at plus b minus, we can also just distribute the 5 here, 5a minus 5at plus b. And distributing the 6 to this one term is just 6at plus b. All equals t. Now, what we're trying to do here is find what the undetermined coefficients a and b equal to with respect to the right-hand side. But we still got to do a little bit of simplification. So here you can see we have some common terms. The at plus b we can treat as a single variable. So we have one of them being subtracted by five of them being added by six of them. So six minus five is one plus one is two, which leaves us with two times at plus b. And we can also simplify 2a and minus 5a to minus 3a, and there is no b term, equals t. Now let's try to write everything explicitly. So starting with 2at plus 2b minus 3a equals t plus 0. So if we're decreasing everything on the left-hand side and right-hand side by a power of t such that t squared plus t plus 0, you get the idea. We do the same here. So we start off with t plus the constant, or t of the power 0, or 1, and we do the same here, t plus 0. Now we've got to match the sides together in a system of equations. So starting with the highest power that we have here, t, we have 2at, and we can just drop the t, 2a equals a single t. And don't write t here, it's just 1. Technically, you could do 2at equals t, but you do the same thing and drop the t anyways. So divided by 2, a equals 1 half, and that's already our first coefficient. All we have left is to find b, which is t to the 0. We have 2b here, so there is no t. And that would be 2b minus 3a equals 0. That's this term here. You match these two together. Since we're trying to find b, 2b would be set equal to positive 3a divided by 2. b equals 3 halves a which equals 3 halves of 1 half. Multiplying this fraction, that's 3 fourths. Therefore, b equals 3 fourths. And we have our particular solution all set. Looking back here, where we have our a and b term for y particular, all we have to do is plug in a and b. a t plus b becomes 1 half t, or just t over 2 if you want, plus 3 fourths, times e to the t. And that's it, that's our solution. The problem doesn't ask for anything else, it just wants the particular solution. But if you were to find everything, it would be y general equals y homogeneous plus y particular. So find the homogeneous solution from the homogeneous roots 2 and 3, and all you have to do after that is add this whole term, and you have your general solution. So for your y homogeneous, just have the solution for rh equals 2 and 3, and after that, just add y particular solution, which we just found here, and that's all you have to do. I hope this helped. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.